In this video we will pr produce hydrogen with a reaction of sodium hydroxide and aluminium foil. Of course you can use aluminium powder too but it's uh, much more expensive. In the first step we want to produce a 40% solution of sodium hydroxide with um, water. So um, these are 20 grams of sodium hydroxide and now I'm going to add uh, 30 grams of water to produce 50 milliliters of the 40% solution. So now these are 30 grams of water. To mix up the two ingredients I use a magnetic stirrer. So I first add the water and then slowly add the sodium hydroxide. you will recognize that the solution is going to heat up because uh, the solution is an exothermic process it will heat up very fast you need um, to wear gloves and of course your, your protection wear when you can't see any more white particles in the solution Everything is dissolved and you can go on by the next step. Now you can add some milliliters of the solution in a test tube like that. And then make little pieces of this aluminium foil. Make sure that your pieces of aluminium foil are very small because the smaller they are the better your reaction will work. Of course they have to be, to be small enough to fit in the test tube. So now these are around 0 0.1 grams of uh, aluminium pieces which I'm gonna put in the test tube now and you will see a uh, exothermic reaction which produces hydrogen. When you add your aluminium pieces you will see the reaction start and produce an hydrogen. When you now put some fire on it it will explode because hydrogen is highly flammable. Make sure that your test tube is resistant to high temperatures so that it doesn't burst. You can add pieces to the, to the solution a few times until it doesn't work anymore. When you add fine aluminium powder to the solution, your reaction will be more powerful because the surface of the pieces is much bigger than the of the other aluminium pieces. You can do funny things with this reaction like making a hydrogen balloon by putting it on the test tube very fast now it's getting bigger and then you can lit it and you will see it explode when you finished make sure not to pour that solution in your drain or it will destroy your pipes. Adjust the solution to a pH of 7 which is neutral by adding an acid. And the solution is very alkaline it can um, uh, be corrosive on your pipes and finally destroy them. The solution will heat up again but um, that's no problem. And now as the pH is 7 you can put it in your drain and um, it's done. Now thanks for watching and always be safe when doing experiments.